The past year, Ezra Miller has been notorious for being the cause of outlandish headlines for a numerous number of different reasons, with none of them being good. Their recent inclusion in articles comes from accusations that they're housing children on a farm, with marijuana and guns all around. Want to know exactly what's going on with Ezra Miller? Want to know in full what they said? Stay tuned to find out. First, let's discuss who Ezra Miller is. Before Ezra Miller was a fugitive on the run, they were an actor, an actor that has appeared in an impressive handful of greatly received films. They had appeared in the beloved 2012 film The Perks of Being a Wallflower, in which they played one of the biggest characters in the movies. They also have appeared in some of the most known franchises of film, including the DC Universe and the Harry Potter Universe. The actor is set to play Flash once again on the big screen in the film of the same name, set to be released in 2023. It will be their fourth appearance as Flash. Realistically, it will also probably be their last, as it's been reported by an insider that DC is heavily planning to drop Ezra from the film. Miller had been in trouble for marijuana possession in 2011 while filming the perks of being a wallflower that would soon turn out to become nothing compared to the havoc they would reap in 2020 and the years that followed. There's a lot to talk about as Ezra Miller never seems to stop shocking the world. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's discuss the events that took place in 2020 when it all started. In 2020, fans of Ezra Miller were disgusted to see a video of the actor choking a woman and slamming her onto the ground, appearing on their social media feeds. The video had taken place at a bar called Prikip Kafihus, which is a bar in Iceland's capital, Reykjavik. This was confirmed by Variety. It was also confirmed to be a bar that Ezra Miller frequently visited. Things only got worse for them when one of the employees in the bar identified the person in the video, confirming what most people already knew, that it was indeed Ezra Miller they'd seen being aggressive. The bar employee who identified Miller also confirmed that after the incident had taken place, staff of the bar escorted them off the premises. At the time, it seemed like the worst possible time to be an Ezra Miller fan, but they would soon find out that things only went downhill from there, as Miller not only continued to get violent, but expanded their crimes to a whole bunch of different degrees. Ezra Miller had managed to avoid headlines until almost two years later in 2022. Let's talk about Ezra Miller's repeat offense in Hawaii. While many had known of Ezra Miller's behavior in Iceland, it was the things that they did in Hawaii that put them on people's radar. In March of 2022, Miller was arrested for screaming crude words at people who had taken the stage at a karaoke bar. They were taken in and charged with disorderly conduct and harassment. Not even a month later, Miller was arrested again, this time for charges much worse. They were taken in second-degree assault. Miller had thrown a chair at a woman who'd asked them to leave a get-together that was supposed to be private. The chair struck her, leaving a cut on her head that scratched half an inch. Miller had tried to leave but was stopped during a traffic stop. Miller, knowing they were at fault, pleaded no contest and had only had to pay a fine of $500 for their disorderly conduct. Perhaps if judges had decided that Miller was in need of jail time, they would have not been free to continue on with their criminal spree. Things got even worse for Miller when accusations of grooming came out. Let's get into their relationship with Takata Iron Eyes right now. Let's talk about Ezra Miller's relationship with 18-year-old Takata Takata Iron Eyes. In June of 2022, headlines were made when an order of protection was issued against Ezra Miller. The order of protection was issued by the Standing Rock Sioux Tribal Court. It was ordered by the Chase Iron Eyes, Sarah Jumping Eagle, parents of Takota Iron Eyes, a now 18-year-old activist, in an attempt to garner protection for her from Miller, who they said used violent intimidation, threat of violence, fear, paranoia, delusions, and drugs, in an attempt to keep a strong influence over the young girl. The young girl that they had befriended in 2016. Miller was 23. Takata was only 12 years old. Their influence over her was so strong that in 2021, at 17 years old, she dropped out of high school so she could follow Miller. Her parents said that Miller had been physically abusive towards the young girl, leaving her with a bunch of bruises on her body. This was what had officially attracted police's attention. Law enforcement who wanted to find Miller announced that they had been completely unable to find the actor, even after getting mocked by them on social media in a post on the actor's Instagram, which has since been deleted. Let's talk about their alleged kidnapping. This brings us to the question that everybody wants answered. Why is Ezra Miller housing a mother and her child on a farm? Well, the answer is that the woman, who they had met in Hawaii, came to Miller seeking sanctuary from the children's biological father, who she claimed was abusive. That, of course, is not a problem with the situation. The problem is that the house he's keeping them in is full of guns, ammunition, and marijuana. Ammunition that the kids 
are easily susceptible to. So easily susceptible, in fact, that it was said that one-year-old child had found a loose bullet on the ground and put it in her mouth. It was also said that there are people within the house smoking marijuana, not only in the house, but near the children. This is a big problem due to the fact that their farmhouse was said to not be well ventilated. There were also claims that there had been large assault rifles in the house that were set on a large pile of the children's stuffed animals. These claims come not only from a number of anonymous sources, but from the father of the children himself. Let's look at Ezra Miller's miscellaneous charges and headlines. The sources that had come forward and confirmed that Ezra Miller was housing the woman and her three kids also came forward to say that they were running a huge unlicensed marijuana purchasing scheme. They were set to grow much more marijuana that was allowed in the state, which is currently only two mature plants. Months ago, Miller was in trouble again for yet another instance of assault, this time including a child. A woman had come forward and talked about how Ezra Miller threatened her family. She talked about how Miller showed up to her home after visiting a neighbor. He was wearing a bulletproof vest and waving around a pistol at them. Not long after that, a TikTok was posted by a fan who had run into Ezra Miller. The fan asked for a video, while Ezra went on about offering people the option to get knocked out. After the fan mistakenly said yeah in agreement, Ezra for a second took that as him wanting to get knocked out himself. While it was funny to people who had seen it, and the original poster even laughed at it himself, it must have been a very scary situation to be in, as Ezra Miller has shown the past two years that nobody knows just what they're capable of. Finally, let's talk about what is to come for Ezra Miller. They once had a great career full of amazing opportunities in front of them, but Ezra Miller has without a doubt thrown away any possibilities for a career comeback. So what's to come of them? Well, it's expected that they will still star as The Flash for the upcoming movie. The film was finished before the accusations, and non-deniable evidence was released to the public. DC had decided it would not only cost too much, but be too big of a waste of time to completely reshoot the movie. They have made it abundantly clear though, that after this new film, there will be no Ezra Miller Flash. Miller was also set to play a young Salvador Dali in the film Dali. It hasn't been confirmed if he will still be in the film or not. Regarding their legal troubles, it's not said what will come of Ezra Miller. They're constantly on the move, which makes it difficult for police to find them. There's no question that if the police do find them, they will definitely spend a great amount of time behind bars, as they've racked up a lengthy rap sheet over the last two years alone. At just under 30 years, Ezra Miller has had more troubles with the law than most people will have in their life. They've bounced from state to state and country to country avoiding captivity. There's no telling if the police will find them or not. All we could do now is watch and hope their reign of terror is over soon.